In this video, we're going to look at um, Appendix C, where we consider Newton's method. Uh, this is a follow-up video to a video that we've already done, uh, but I wanted to do everything in this problem by hand, um, whereas on the <clears throat> other motivational YouTube video, we looked at the, the computer showing us how all the steps were working together. But in this example, we'll consider the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 2. Okay. And we'll consider a starting value of 4. Okay. So we have a function and a start value given. Okay. Newton's method, as the prior video uh, um, stated, that we first need to find a tangent line. to the function f of x at the value that we're interested in. In this case, it's 4. Okay. Uh, we'll draw this tangent line. L of x is equal to the function evaluated at 4 plus f prime of 4 times x minus 4. Uh, the function f of 4 in this case is 16 minus 2, which is 14. That's the 4 squared minus 2 f prime of 4 is the derivative of this function f of x is 2x evaluated at x equals 4, so that would be 8. Therefore, our tangent line is 14 plus 8 times x minus 4, okay, which leads us to our tangent line L of x is equal to 8x minus 32 plus 14. which is 8x, uh, six, which would be 18. Okay. Uh, the second step, uh, the, I mean, the second idea behind Newton's method is to find when the tangent line L of x is equal to 0. Well, that would require that we solve 8x is equal to 18 equal to 0 which tells us that x is equal to 18 divided by 8, which as a decimal turns into 2.25. Okay. So what we've done here is we have these two steps together make the first step of Newton's method. One step of Newton's method. Okay. The prior video showed what we have done here. We have uh, have a function. Uh, we know that this function is x squared minus 2. Here's our function, x squared minus 2. We've got a starting value of 4. We have this function, which we're calling x0. Read it up to the function, find a tangent line, and we're looking for this value here, which we're calling x1, one step of Newton's method, and that comes out to be 2.25. Okay. Proceeding to the next step of Newton's method would be to do all of these steps again. Okay. The second step of Newton's method would be to find a tangent line to the function f of x at the value x1 is 2.25. Use this value of the x is your new tangent line position. So the line would be the function evaluated at 2.25 plus f prime of 2.25 multiplied by x minus 2.25. The function evaluated at 2.25 uh, on our calculator comes out to be 3.0625 the derivative at 2.25 comes out to be 4.5. Okay. So if you solve this new equation, L of x is equal to 3.0625 plus 4.5 times x minus 2.25, set that equal to and solve for x, you will get the value uh, 1.569. Okay. 
So that would be step one and step two together. This new x value is what we would call x2. x2 is 1.569 thing. That would be the end of the second step of Newton's method. And then you can continue this process, right? Process continues as many steps, n steps, if you wish, where n could be three steps, four steps, five steps. Okay. If you proceed enough steps, um, um, often with enough steps, these numbers x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, if you go enough steps, this number here, xn, which is the value of Newton's method after n steps, uh, will be a number close to the value of the function that uh, gives zero. So meaning that xn, okay, as the number of steps goes to infinity, xn goes to a root, a root of the function f of x. Okay. Can we turn this process into um, kind of an algorithm? Here I've shown um, two steps of Newton's method, and we've kind of repeated ourselves steps-wise. Okay, so can we look a little bit deeper into into this um, algorithm to figure out or to the, these steps to see if we can come up with an algorithm? Okay, so let's do that now. And the Newton's method algorithm is basically just a fancy way of saying, is there a pattern? We need to find a pattern. Okay, so here's what we were asked to do. L of x, take our tangent line, function evaluated at a plus f prime of a multiplied by x minus a, and we wanted to solve that equal to zero. Okay. Um, and we want to solve this, solve for x, okay? So solving that for x, you will get f of a, distribute the f prime, f prime of a times x, minus f prime of a multiplied by a equal to zero. I want to isolate the x term, so f prime of a multiplied by x is negative, f of a plus f prime of a multiplied by a. So I moved everything to their side. Now I'm going to divide both sides by f prime. So x is equal to negative f of a plus f prime of a multiplied by a divided by f prime of a. Properties of fractions, we can undo the common denominator here, so the f prime of a will cancel, and you'll have a minus f of a divided by f prime of a. And that is your x value. So this formula we can turn into something if we just uh, use some appropriate values here. If the value of a is what we called x0, and if we call x equal to x1. So after one step, if you get x, a, x will be x1, a will be your starting value, evaluate the function at x0 divided by f prime of x0, okay? So all you need to know here is the function, the derivative, and x0, okay? So all those are known to you, x0 is known, you chose it. The function at x0 is known. And the derivative is known also at x0. So for example here, our function f of x was x squared minus 2. Okay, f prime of x was 2x. And we had chosen x0 is equal to 4. The function evaluated at x0 was equal to 
um, 14, and f prime of x0 was equal to 8. So from this formula that we have above, x1 should be 4 minus 14 divided by 8. Okay. And that will, if you do that subtraction, that will lead you to 2.25. This lends itself now, right here, this step. Okay, this is an important idea that we can turn into an algorithm now, right? If x1 is equal to this box formula after one step, the second formula should be x2 is equal to x1 minus the function evaluated at x1 divided by f prime of x1. After the third step, you should get x3 is equal to the second value step of Newton's method, function evaluated at x2 divided by f prime of x2. Okay. If you do these numbers, um, remember we realized that x1 was 2.25. The function evaluated at 2.25 from the previous step was 30625. And then divide by the derivative at 2.25 was 4.5. That answer would have given the 1.5694. The third step would be the answer after the end of your second step, 1.5694, minus the function at that value, 0 0.4336, divided by the derivative at that point, 3.12, and that would give you 1.42, 103. So you should verify these numbers that I've done here. Okay. But this will extend to a formula for after n steps. The formula you'll see in your textbook is the value of Newton's method after n steps is um, the previous value minus the function evaluated the previous value divided by the derivative at the previous value. This is the formula that you will see um, the Newton's method update formula. Okay. It tells you how to take your previous value and update it to your next value. Okay. So there's Newton's method in a nutshell with uh, all of our pencil and paperwork. You will find here that because uh, we were getting x1, x2, x3, we had only done three steps of Newton's method that we had. After the first step we had 2.25 our third step was 1.5694, third step 1.42103. If we had gone more steps, k steps, k started from 1 and gone to like n, n steps, we would have gotten these same numbers, and then we would have gotten more of them. The last number here should be close to the function evaluate uh, the function f of x equal to zero. Okay. Um, we should think about that a little bit more to realize: Do we know what Newton's method? If you keep doing more and more steps, is this number going to get closer and closer to something after n steps? Okay. Let's do one last um, idea here the Newton's method formula for f of x is equal to x squared minus 2 with a starting value of 4. Then the Newton's method update formula would be, oh, this is a mi minus sign, minus f of xn over f prime of xn. Okay, Generate some numbers, x1, x2, x3, 
all the way up to xn, whatever n is after n steps. Okay. The number that's here is going to be close to the solution to the function f of x equal to 0. This function is equal to 0 at plus or minus the square root of 2. So the answer we were getting on the previous page, the, the 1.42103, that's what x3 was equal to. If you continued more steps, it would be getting close to, after n steps, that answer should be getting close to the square root of 2. Right, so this number here is close to the square root of 2. And there's a, your homework will illustrate more about how this Newton's method algorithm can be used to um, answer specific questions about square roots and approximations.